Uh, I'm Jack Dunn, uh, Mueller Planetarium Coordinator uh, in the University of Nebraska State Museum. Uh, I've been with the university for many, many years, but uh, even longer than that, I've been interested in space exploration. I was at an Apollo launch, uh, truly a magnificent site, and then uh, I've been to shuttle launches, um, known lots of astronauts, and so on. And I think that we're in an interesting transition time in, in space exploration, certainly for the United States. The question is, where do we go from here? And we don't have another vehicle ready. So at this point, it may be a couple of years before we're able to launch our own vehicle. Maybe it will be with private companies helping to support that, uh, but we don't know. Uh, Nebraskans, uh, we were the place where there was uh, uh, the, the pioneers at one time. Well, this is the new frontier. And we get back things that sometimes are unexpected. If you go back to the Apollo uh, uh, flights before 1968, no one had the concept of the entire Earth. Nobody had ever seen a picture from space uh, or anything like that to show us what the Earth was like as a planet. Our entire environmental movement, our entire consciousness of the Earth started from that. And that was something nobody expected. So you see so many kinds of things come back to you from this. And of course, yeah, there are the cell phones and the and the computer chips and all that technology that has been a byproduct of, of exploration. But I like to emphasize to people that by, by exploring and by uh, looking for these new frontiers, uh, you never know where it might take us, not just in terms of we're going to land on the moon or Mars or whatever, but uh, that we have a lot of rewards on Earth.